I just finished recording a whole 30 minute video <laughs> when I discovered that the whole video doesn't have a sound. I'm very very disappointed but I'm guessing those are things that happen so I'm fine with it. Let me just do this again. <gasps> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will tell you about my top seller tips on making sales on people. So let me start with like telling like the story of how I started with Depop. I started Depop. Actually, I don't remember which month I actually created the account. I don't think my first sale took a long time, so I really want to believe I created my account in June because I made my first sale on Depop in on June the sixth. 2020 yeah and since then i've been hooked in the <laughs> application like genuinely genuinely hooked yeah i made the first sale it was a book and one of my goals in january 2021 to take Depop seriously because i saw the potential you know i was just selling things in my wardrobe and i was making quick money and i was like imagine taking this thing seriously do you know how much money i could be making you know so from january to april when lockdown i spent time researching and making sure i knew what i would do the moment the lockdown was lifted for charity shops and then i went i started buying so i became a full-time seller on depot in april 2021 then i think between april and may i think it was in may i received an email to join the school that was called the level up program it was one of the best thing i did because up until then i don't think i had the necessary consistency and determination to want to make it on hip hop you know because i was just selling, telling myself i'm just gonna sell and make as much money as i want but once i joined the level up program and then consequently decided to become a top seller then i really wanted to meet targets you know like to set myself actually goals and be you have to do this by this month, you have to do this by this month, and list the number of items, and it was really fun, and it really taught me about consistency and determination. That is the short story, I then became a top seller, I want to say in October, and then I have been a top seller since then. Like, let me just get the obvious one out of the way, and basically that would be uh, following people and liking the items. Following people, I won't lie, that is something I've actually done a lot in the beginning. That, I think that's how we off, as you know, every time we join a new social media platform, following people is always the, new, the first thing we think about because we want more people to look at our page. And something I would say for like new sellers is before you start following people, have, I was gonna say have at least one item on your page and I was like, it doesn't make sense, I'm sure you would have. At least one item on your page but have more as in that's an advice i got in the beginning only having three items on your page is not gonna guarantee that if someone is gonna come and see and be like i want this but if you have 10 you give them option you know so that's something i would advise in regards to likes it's something i genuinely personally never related to i only like items i'm interested in why because i feel like i want my recommendation on Depop to actually be based on things I would buy, you know, rather than just like random stuff. A lot of people do it, a lot of people swear by it, but personally, I do not. What I've discovered for myself is, because I wasn't really that big on likes, I would follow people, but I was very targeted. If I had this book, This Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky, it retails at 16.99. And I want to sell it as soon as possible. What do I do? I go on the search because like, side note, most sales on Depop are actually made through the search engine. I go on the search page and I type the exact title and also on it and a lot of like uh, options are gonna be available to me. So I literally just go after I have listed my item, of course, like that is very important. I go on everyone that is interested in that book which is gonna be everyone that has liked that book there's not just gonna be one post you know they're gonna be a lot and analyze my competition how much are they selling it for remember it retails at 16.99 they are maybe selling it at 14.99 what do i do i go and i 
literally put mine at platinum 99 or 12 99 that means i'm beating the competition because my price is cheaper and i go and i follow everyone who has liked those books because i know they're interested in it you know what's gonna happen is the person is gonna receive a notification that i have literally followed them they're gonna go check my page and they're gonna see that i'm selling the same exact book they're interested in and what's gonna happen they're gonna message me and be like is this still available also yes and they'll buy it and i've made a sale easy that's something i've tried not only with books it works with quotes as well i sold dozens dozens of items using that technique but i won't lie to you i think the more items you have the less likely you're gonna be doing it because nowadays i don't do it anymore but in the beginning it's a tip that helps me a lot the next tip is uh, photography photography really is important i can't even stress it enough if an item is like the top of the top like it's the best item and the photography is shit people are less likely to buy it compared to someone who is selling an item that is average and the photography is bomb photography is a thing people like trust me your lighting even i speaking my lighting i'm not really proud of it the background i'm not really proud of it but up until i set up the place i'm gonna be filming at that's what like i'm gonna be serving but genuinely lighting is a thing uh also you don't even need a camera i take my pictures with my phone you know, which is even what i'm using to record the videos genuinely like in, in any phone any phone will do the job just like the lighting is what's important you need to have a team for me my team is quite consistent although like if you go back like if you scroll down you're gonna be a bit disappointed but the recent pictures all have the same 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 minimalistic uh, creamy background and a lot of people recognize my page by that the last thing is niche i struggle with it i do understand especially like if you're just watching this video because you want to sell items from your closet you're not gonna want to like just sell 90s or like why it's okay you're gonna want to say everything that's gonna make you want algorithm doesn't really favor it they would they would like to know whether or not you're a vintage seller you're a y2k seller you're a modern seller i sell everything i've tried to niche down on just 90s like vintage and y2k but it's difficult because sometimes i go in the shite shops and i just see something it's so cute those are like i think the obvious ones that i'm gonna get out of the way now for the tips i swear by the ones are three but then I've added more that I feel like are also important so refreshing big big one for a lot of people refreshing is not what's supposed to be at the top listing is supposed to be at the top but for me even on days where I don't have new items to list as long as I refresh I know I get some exposure onto my, onto my shop you know just cause like when you refresh the algorithm likes it it's true that like a lot of people have been saying that refreshing is not it anymore and I do contend refreshing is not it anymore. Listing is it. But refreshing still works, okay? Uh, in the previous video I made, I kind of showed how, like, there are two ways of refreshing. Clicking on the item, clicking on the listing, and then save. Or either you just go on the selling section. You know, like, the small, the one in the middle, and then you click on see all and then you click on edit it's quick at that way but then i think recently i've been gravitating more towards the first option which is the longest one refreshing is the thing they call it bumping on depop it helps a lot it's very very rare for you to refresh your items and not get likes it's it's so rare every time you refresh you get likes and you know for me likes are really important i'll get to it because that's like my biggest tip that a lot of people don't agree with so that's that's the one i swear by it will be the last tip i give though in case you want to know which one it is the second t listing now you know for me i've reached the point where listing is not sustainable anymore because with the number of items i have on my page i'm supposed to be making a certain amount of sales every day but because i am not consistent with listing the algorithm is also not consistent with giving me sales you know because of that i think i've reached the point where i'd rather work on my older listings rather than add new listings but it's still waste because it's genuinely genuine waste trust me if there are two things you have to remember it's refreshing and listing listing is always 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 going to be the most important the biggest sellers on depop you know because this listing where we get like weekly uh rankings and it's like the highest i've had been on is like has been 100 and something i'll leave a picture the more items you you basically list and the more items you sell 
the more likely you are to rank higher on the world ranking the next 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 one is discounting and i know a lot of people who don't feel the same about discounting that's like a recommendation for everyone you know like i said i try to separate between people that just want to sell items out of their closet and people who genuinely want to make hip hop a business discounting is good for certain seasons for example now it's summer every fast fashion company trust me they're having a summer set that discounting items during certain seasons is very key it's not for everyone though because i know a lot of people in hip hop who don't discount they've never discounted since i've joined hip hop and like i don't think they're ever gonna discount because they don't believe in it you know they still make sales why would they discount if they can sell the item full price, you know? That's why I said it's not for everyone. The other tip that I also think is not for everyone, but I would recommend for everyone, which is something I'm working on, is social media. But when you have people you that follow you on like Instagram or TikTok, you're more likely to have that connection with them and like they're not gonna go on deep or look for you because they know you exist already. So when you tell them on Instagram or TikTok, oh I have a new job they're gonna go check it out when you have social media like on your side you do not rely on depot to give you all the traffic because you make your own traffic do not just rely on depot you know have a social media account it's important in this day and age you know to make more money especially when you have a business yeah. so social media is really a must i think if i have i could give some uh, people that I, I follow closely on instagram or tiktok but one that i'm gonna say is Chelsea secrets with like a tiktok strategy it is on point genuinely i think she makes so many sales through tiktok and that is like something to like keep in mind tiktok is seems to be the way a lot use instagram and a lot use tiktok just choose the one you know that tickle your fancy and go with it the next one i'm gonna recommend is cross listing i wasn't really a fan of cross listing until recently so now i cross list on vinted and ebay to be honest, Depop still remains what makes me the most money. I see the amount that comes from Vint and eBay as like side hustle money, you know? Money I wasn't expected from Happy Star. And also, cost listing is not for everyone. It's very stressful, especially when you have a lot of items. Because every time you sell on one platform, you have to go and deliver the items on the other platform. And trust me, there have been times I've sold items on one platform, forgot to remove on another. My biggest tip is save. And before I give that, I would like to have a special, special, special mention for low ballers, you know? We don't like them, we don't like them, we dislike them, we think they're annoying. But low ballers are special. For if there's something I've learned in all my years of dealing, all my years, all my months dealing with low ballers is they actually want the item, you know? They actually want the item. The example is like, Today, there's this girl on Vinted, she wanted an item that was sold for $21.99. She lowballed me that she wanted it for £13. I sent her a message because, you know, with those people, you always, always have to be polite. I was like, hello, sadly, it's too low for me. Could we please agree on £18? And she was like, sure. And she bought the item, you know? I could have gotten angry. Like, let's get angry when I receive no more messages. Like, but most of the time, they really want the item. Trust me, if they had the money to buy it full price, they would have. It's just because they don't. And they are trying to get a good deal at a low price. I know they get a bad reputation. But trust me, I do believe, I do believe sales can be made with low value. Some of them, they don't answer you, you know, because they're like, I don't want this. But like, most of them do. Basically, my biggest tip that a lot of people don't relate with. And before I start giving it, honestly, I think I have to give so many, like, What's the word? I've spoken to someone from Depop and I have an assurance that this actually works and I've mastered it to such a point that genuinely this cannot bite me at the back. Genuinely, a lot of people don't agree with it. They think it's spammy and I have to give it all those things because the minute I say it, a lot of people are just gonna be like, seriously, I don't want it. But it works, okay? That is to reach out to likers. Bear with me eBay has that function of sending offers to buyers uh, Vinted has that function of sending offers to buyers Depop is slowly getting there but up until Depop gets there I cannot just wait around for Depop to do that 
How many times people complain about the summer slow down, but they don't know anything about it. You have people liking your item. I get loads of notifications every day, and most of those notifications are likes. Okay? Are you are you actually telling me that all those people that are liking your items are not interested in the items? No. So basically, what I do is like I have oh my god, like to literally listen to all those steps because they are very important. The reason why uh, I had that conversation with the person from the Depop. Uh, support team was because I got reported for spamming but it has been removed since then when I got it removed after speaking to her she looked at the message again and she was like oh actually that's not spam we apologize for marking it as spam and it is when you're sending 100 messages like the same message copy and paste to so many people yes it's gonna be reported as spam but that's not my strategy very 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 specific and it's about who I send the message to and it's very targeted okay the message like in the beginning I ha like for example books I had to send the messages because what happens is someone goes on in the search they look for a book they see my book they're like oh yeah that's a book I want they like it okay but they don't look at the description so technically they don't even know that I have deals on the books so I reach out to them and I'm like hello i saw you were interested in that particular book because that's very important you have to be specific about the item you know if you send messages that you could have sent to person b and person c it would get reported as spam you know and depop can't do anything about it please like listen to the steps don't just like take the fact that i said message people and just message anyone i don't do that with anyone i'm very specific about who i message so I'll be like, hello, I saw you like this particular book. In this case, crime and punishment. Uh, like, I'm willing or prepared to reduce the price. And then I say, I also offer two books for, like, two books for £10. The person didn't know, because like, most people, actually, that I send those messages to, they don't know, because what? Well, they didn't look at my description, you know? They just saw the book, and they were like, I want it, liked. So that's something I do. With clothes, it's the same thing. Hello, I saw you were interested in this top. Very important to be specific about the type of top. Would you like it? Because I'm prepared to offer a reduction. I don't send the messages that are like, so no one has liked anything on my page. And then I send me a message like, oh, I'm having a sale. I don't do that, okay? I don't send messages like, buy my items like i'll post it today i don't i'm very specific about wanting to reduce the price and that is all i send messages to when people like more than two items i offer bottom bundle deals you know if you're interested i already have free shipping on my page so like i never ask for like i'll remove shipping i literally just say i'll reduce the price for you most people who would say no to reduction let's be honest unless the person actually is either don't have the money yet or just didn't want the item you know so that those are the things I'm very 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 specific about. Now, let's imagine person A has liked this red dress on my page. Okay, what do I do? I go on the, the person's page, and those are three steps that I follow. So please listen, very important. Okay, first thing I check as the person really likes my item, because you know sometimes people li might like your items and realize they don't really want it. And what do they do? They're like unlike it and that happened so i'm not gonna send a message to someone who actually hasn't liked my item because you know they unliked it i also pay attention to where in the person likes my item is if it's the first very good you know i know that it's the last item they looked at it they actually wanted good you know if it's like i have to go down 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 that starts becoming a red flag and i really most of the time i don't send messages to those people because i'm like you're liking 100 items you're not specific i don't think you want my items it's very rare that like i'll have to scroll down 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 and the person will buy the item but it does happen you know and that's why you have to be specific about who you send the message to the second thing i look at is is the person a seller or a buyer it's very important you know sellers are more likely to report your message as a spam which is very funny because you know in the beginning i used to block it a lot of those sellers that would like like a bunch of my items i don't do it anymore because since i became like full time i have this mindset of like this might be a future buyer you know but trust me they have no and sorry like if you're one of those people who like lots of items and then when someone sends you messages you get angry but i feel like why is it okay for you to like items and the person not to 
and you get angry with one person you child to you because a lot of sellers have this thing and that's why i i stay away from sellers unless the person has like messaged me or sent me an offer i do not it's very very rare that i message sellers to be fine unless and why do I say sellers? You know, if someone has sold like less than 100 items, there might still be a hobby like that. Maybe they're just like hobby sellers that maybe just selling things out of the closet, you know? And how do I know? It's not just about the amount of items the person has sold. It's also looking at their reviews. How long ago was it that they bought something, you know? If they bought something 64 weeks ago and they sold something two days ago, you know, it's not a priority for them to buy items on the app. That's the kind of things I look at because I really, really do target buyers. Buyers are always going to be thankful whether or not they want the item when you just reach out to them. And please, don't take it as like a non-written rule or something. There are always going to be people who will be pissed out at, at you reaching out to them because maybe they didn't want to buy the item yet. Maybe it's not the size. They just liked it. There are a lot of reasons. So I'm not saying this works all the time, but I'm saying if I'm selling three items, in a day one or two are from people that reached out and this is like the truth i swear by this thing it works okay <laughs> really really target the people that send messages to so the first step is of course seeing whether or not the person has really liked the item and how far down it is if the person is a seller or a buyer how many items has the person sold when was last time the person they bought an item of depop and now the last one is whether or not i've sent a message to the person in the past you know if i've sent a message to someone in the past they haven't answered trust me i'm not sending another message so that is my clue the biggest biggest one is literally reach out to like us it's actually a thing every other platform uses it Pinterest does ebay does even in the us posh market oh i forgot to say it. i also wait a bit before reaching out to people because you, if someone just liked your item don't send them a message right away because they might actually be willing to spend the full amount of money you know i do make sales without reaching out to people and trust me what i've noticed with selling reselling is you're always gonna sell the item unless it's like very very bad you're always gonna sell the item so it's your choice to decide whether or not to offer reduction whether or not to discount your item whether or not to cost list it's literally your choice but if you want the item to sell quickly which has been my mentality so for me leaving an item for like oh, i don't know a month while i could have sold it within a week for two pounds cheaper i'm sorry yes it might sell in a month's time but i'd rather you know just just move the item and get the money but yeah that was my tip and the biggest fucking words please 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 like I said, I gave so many steps to follow because it's important. You really do have to be very specific about who you send those messages to. Always be polite when you send a message to someone. And the, when the person answers things like, no, not interested, you know, just still be polite because you don't know if the person is going to be interested in another one of your items in a few weeks, in a few months, you know. It is very important to always, always stay polite on depop especially when you're selling not just on depop on everything you know because you don't know who's gonna be your customer tomorrow and with that i am done so i do not doubt depop would introduce and send offers to buyers option soon but up until then that is the tip i swear by so Thank you all for watching and please do let me know if you have any other tips you feel like you want to share. If you have, if there's anything you agree with or you disagree with, please do share it in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching once again and I love you. Bye, have a nice day.